Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. You know what? We've reviewed the Monster Trapper, the Monster Zapper, and now we're looking at the Monster Double Zapper. I know, that's crazy. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get right into the review. Here is our Monster Double Zapper. As you can see, it is an as seen on TV item, but the most exciting part, this is rechargeable. I love that no batteries needed. Let's do a quick unboxing. I just read through the directions and you know what? This is actually a double zapper. So up top here, it has a spot for mosquitoes and down here you can actually bait. Roadful. That's pretty interesting. If you see this right here, we have an on. So that is just activating the mosquito one. If I hit click it again, it just activates the underneath. If I click it again, it's both. The next one looks like it's the heat. So that might be for underneath here too. If I want to turn this off all together, I just push and hold. Three seconds later, it is completely off. Right now I have it on the both mode and I'm going to simulate catching a roach. And what happens is you will notice as soon as you catch something, this will start blinking red. If a roach does in fact go in there, it'll actually wait three hours before it'll turn on the heat. And then of course, I think it just cooks it for eight minutes. This part right here actually just clips around the top here. So we'll clip it in on one side. Maybe. Okay, took a little effort, turn around to the other side and we'll clip in that part. So now you have that like lip all the way around. You're supposed to just push it down towards the bottom. There we go. Of course, right here we have our charger port. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge this up because the directions tell us to fully charge this before first use. As soon as we plugged in a charge, you can see that this light started blinking red. My guess will be that'll be solid red when it's done, but we'll check back in in a few hours. Just like we thought, the light is red. After it's done charging, it took almost four hours. And before I forget, go Bills. It's time to test the monster double zapper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this outside under like a covered porch. It's This is intended for indoor use, but I don't have any really bug problems inside. And so we're gonna set this up outside. I am gonna bait the cockroach section just with peanut butter. I know cockroaches are, uh, well, they like peanut butter. So we're just gonna put a little bit in each of the um, four corners. Maybe we'll get something. We will be running this both with the bug zapper part and the cockroach trapper. Let's assemble this all together and take it outside and set it up. We're gonna hit the button three times to have both traps activated. Let's go hang this up. Here we are outside. I ended up putting it just on a table. I think this is the best. If there were any roaches to crawl in, they could get access. Plus any flying bugs could be attracted to the light. Just in the first few minutes that this has been out here, I'm surprised with the amount of bugs that are actually swarming to it. Most of them are moths, but there are like little tiny flying insects, which I'm guessing are mosquitoes. I can't really see without turning a light on, but definitely is attracting bugs. I turned the light on the camera just for a little bit because I wanted to see if we can see some of the action that I've been seeing around here with all these bugs just flying around the zapper. I think now they're attracted to the light on the camera, but they have also been attracted to the light here on the zapper. And here are the results of the first night out with our monster double zapper. Mostly we have a lot of moths, but there are a few mosquitoes and other random bugs in there too. I'm pretty impressed. You know what I'm most impressed with? After an entire night on, this still has battery life in it. That is pretty cool. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see if we got any roaches and... No. Well, that's sad. Since we didn't get any roaches last night, I'm gonna try it again and we'll see what happens tonight. I had it on a table yesterday, so tonight I'm actually gonna set it right on the ground. In preparation for tonight, I do have this charging again, but you know what? I wanna show you this little tiny brush that you can use just to clean off the little bugs that have attached to the inside of the grate. It's kind of tedious and annoying, but it does get it clean. As I was cleaning this with this little brush, I thought to myself, this is very tedious and annoying. There's gotta be a better way. So I decided to spin the top. And what did I find? You actually can take this part off. That makes cleaning a whole lot easier. Now that we're all clean, let's put the top back on, screw it back into place, and go set it outside. What do you think of the Monster Double Zapper? Have you tried this? Are you considering it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love 
to hear from you. I've been testing this out for the last couple of weeks, and this morning when I got up, I saw the blinking roach, and I'm thinking, yes, finally, we did it. So then I opened it up, and nothing was in there. So my thoughts are something must have bumped it in the middle of the night and just jarred it to make it think it caught a roach, but I have not been able to catch a single crawling bug. Although we weren't able to get any crawling insects or roaches to go into the lower container, I do want to get a heat temperature. Let's open this up real quick. We're scanning it. I get to 125, 126. Ooh, it's getting really, really hot. That's about 55 degrees or so Celsius, 128, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a great temperature. That is a really high temperature, but it's important to note with some of the research that I've done, you have to expose a cockroach to temperatures over 120 degrees Fahrenheit for almost a half an hour before you can kill it. Doing that for only eight minutes is really just going to tick off the roach or have a nice day at the spa. In this video, we were looking at the Monster Double Zapper. So what did I think of it? First things first, we talk about that price point. $40 is a lot of money for a little bug zapper like this. I think that 20 would have been amazing as a price point, but 40 seems a little steep. That being said, the UV light with the cage around it does attract and kill bugs, and that to me is very important. Cockroaches I don't really have a problem with, but those mosquitoes are absolutely annoying. I really like that this has a rechargeable internal battery that runs over seven hours after a four hour charge. That's really, really convenient. I liked having it on at night. When I woke up in the morning, it was still on. That was my full review of the Monster Double Zapper. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I don't typically show the literature when I review products, but I did want to make sure you guys were aware this is intended for indoor use only. And although I did test it outside, I was in a covered porch and I knew absolutely it was not going to rain nor get wet. Just for fun, I wanted to give you a side to side of the Monster Trapper to that of the Double Zapper. And although they do something different, the Monster Trapper sucks down bugs into an area down here through a vacuum and this one actually zaps them. You can see that they're almost the same same size. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Monster Double Zapper. You know what? In this review, we actually talked about the Monster Trapper and the original Monster Zapper. I'm going to link the Monster Trapper right up here and the Monster Zapper right over here. So if you didn't get a chance to see either one of these, I would love it if you would click on one of the links. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you right here or right there. So go ahead, click one. They're safe. I promise.